So for breast cancer, we use a number of different chemotherapy regimens depending on the type of cancer you have and how much cancer you have. Uh, the regimens that include uh, a class of chemotherapy drugs called taxanes, another chemotherapy called cyclophosphamide, a chemotherapy drug called carboplatin. Uh, those kinds of combinations seem to uh, work very well with scalp cooling. So we do keep most of the hair in most women who use those kinds of chemotherapy regimens. The more number of cycles or doses that you get, the higher the dose, the harder it is for scalp cooling to prevent significant hair loss. The other major type of chemotherapy that we use is something uh, called anthracycline based. And anthracyclines include uh, a couple of different common drugs, doxorubicin and epirubicin. Doxorubicin is used the most in the United States. Anthracyclines cause a lot of hair loss right away. Two weeks after you get the first dose, you really lose a lot of hair. And traditionally, scalp cooling hasn't worked as well for anthracyclines. We've had a number of women who use scalp cooling with, uh, while they were getting anthracycline-based chemotherapy and kept a lot of their hair, some most of their hair. So clearly scalp cooling can be effective, but it's effective in a much smaller percentage of women than non-anthracycline-based chemotherapy regimens.